Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here at Cardrew Industrial Estate at RR Transport. And as you can see, it's a bastard great big building. Huge great big building. And they've also got that dirty great big car park over there. And they've also got that dirty great big bit of car park over there as well. So what I might do is take a little walk up the fence. Security, they've got number plate readers, but that looks like all it is. There seems to be very little physical, I mean, there's a security hut there, but there's actually no one in it. A few employees sitting outside over there, presumably that's a smoking area. There's some bays up the back there, one, two, three, four bays up the back there. Don't shout at me like that! So yeah, as you can see, you've got a visitor's entrance that way. Drivers and warehouse team off up to the right hand side instead. So yeah, that's basically it. It's an absolutely massive building. You'll see in a minute when the drone goes up over. It's a huge, great big building. Stretches from ages back that way. Hello. All right. Yes, thank you. Just doing a video about the place. On behalf of who? Me. On behalf of? Me. Yeah, but it's private property. You, well, yeah, that doesn't matter. But it does if you think you're going to fly that over our property. I am flying it over your property. Well, I'll ring the police and stop it. Well, you ring the police, but I'm not breaking any laws. If you do ring them, tell me, because I'll stay here until they get here. Yeah, well, because I'm doing... Legally, you can fly that video over our place. I can, yeah, quite legally. And, who, and you're working for who? Me. What, private or business? I come out and I film interesting buildings. That's all I'm doing. I mean, look, you've got all the wagons over there. You've got all your wagons scattered all over here, look. Yeah, we have, but they won't Just, like it. Well, they... they, they Unfortunately, they don't own the airspace. That's how I can get away with flying over it. No. I'll let them know you're doing it and then they can sort it out themselves. Well, I shall be here for probably five minutes, mate. So if someone wants to come out and have a chat, I'm more than happy to have a chat no, with them no, about no, it. I'll, I'll let them know. But yeah, it, 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 it all depends on the size of the drone. Anything below 250 grams and you can pretty much fly anywhere yeah. other than airports or prisons. But it's having, it's having permission to... Don't need it. As long as you launch from public, you don't need it. What are you going to do if you put it on social media then? Because you're not allowed to do that, are you? Yes, you are allowed to do that. How are you allowed to do that? Because I'm flying from public. It, you're filming our property. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. I'll let Caroline I'm know. flying, I'm flying, I'm, I'm in the airspace. I'm not flying over, I'm not flying in your property. I'm in the airspace over your property. So, yeah, anyway. As I was saying, they've got a big yard over that way. Um, they've also got a big yard down there as well. Um, it sounds as if he's going to report me to someone else who's probably going to report me to somebody else. Um, but yeah, on all of the entrances, they've got number plate recognition system. They've got one over there, they've got one over that side. I'm not sure about over there because I've not been over that side yet, but I will go over and have a look at that side in a little bit. So yeah. Now that he knows and he's been told what I'm going to do, let's get the drone up. I am going to be a little bit wary. Nine, 49 percent of me battery power left so this could well be a reasonably quick video everyone but we'll have a look anyway and record it and up we go 
Right, we'll run over and have a quick look over at this side a minute. So yeah, as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flatbeds. Uh, what looks like either a grain cart or like a, a well, it's an open top one, so it's grain cart or rubble or something like that. And then we've got a tanker there, oil tanker, or petrol tanker, milk tanker, liquid tanker. And another bulk standard R&R &R transport wagon there. Which is not too much to, to have fun with. So let's get up and have a look at this main building, because this main building is the one that I want to see. So there is the main building for RR. One, two, three, four loading bays. Let's have a quick check up the back and see what's up the back. Not a huge amount, to be fair. A few cars. You're all good. All right, okay. Yeah, no, he said, I just spoke to them. They said, it's fine. But please, they said, don't go in the property. I and, wouldn't go in there. No, like, and I mind the lorries. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I'm, I always stay up at least 20 metres, if oh, not no, higher not than that, mate. I was more worried about you than the bloody oh, drone. No, 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 no. I, I, I stay on the path, mate. I, I don't, I, I never go in. Do, no, you're fine. But because I record it all. Yeah. Anything that I do, yeah. I'm obviously going to incriminate myself if I do, I well, do break right. the law. Us, don't blame you. So, no, they said you're fine. Just obviously don't go in and mind the trucks in and out. Yeah, that's right, right. mate. Brilliant. Lovely job. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Awesome. We got the go ahead then. Not that we needed it anywhere. We know we don't need it, but it's nice to be told that you can do it. I mean, you, you can tell from the, the the sheer size. I mean, that 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 all three of those are full-sized articulated lorries. So that that sort of gives you some idea as to just how big this property is. It's absolutely massive. It really is. Just want to take a quick wing up the front in a minute so that I can have a look at the front as well. So yeah, all these buildings are all owned by RR. There we go, our, our transport and storage. So I'm going to grab a picture of that one a minute. I will when I'm zoomed in. There we go. So now, what I shall do, we check that little area out already. 
So what I will do now is fly over and just have a quick check and see what's in this yard. All uh, oh right, nothing untoward too serious really. Gentleman there getting in his cab there, look. That? Is that an ambulance? Oh no, true tight. Ah, right, okay. They're having some repairs done then. And then we've got a slightly different Severt. Open topped trailer as well. Okay, so now what I want to do is try and get up and high as I can and take the photo. Quite a size building that is, my goodness gracious. And I will take that picture there. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, that's all right. I know it is, isn't it? But it's very nice. Sky and it's a good shot of the warehouse. They do us good, yeah. That's all right. I took a couple for Google Maps, it's pretty, oh yeah. so I'll put them yeah. up for you as well. It's nice, isn't it? It is. It's a huge building, isn't it? Yeah. It's a huge building. Uh, seven acres. The site, the site is something like 23.7. Oh, I know, that. and I think the warehouse is seven. I couldn't tell, it's 200 and bloody dark square foot it, inside, but I couldn't I, tell you that I, I, I think it's probably the biggest warehouse that I've, be, that I've filmed well, so you far. Know what? I'd be interested because we, we tell people it's probably, we tell people it's probably the biggest industrial property in Cornwall, but I, we don't know. We'll make it an urban myth. I, I think it's got to be close. Well, are there um, any bigger Amazon warehouses? Because they tend to have bloody big sheds, don't they? Uh, as far as I know, the only Amazon warehouse that's down here is the one over by Portreath. Oh, OK. And that, that's it's yeah. half the size, if well, not you know, quarter. Because originally it was this warehouse, I think in the late 80s. And then, then um, it was a plant manufacturer, wasn't it? Case, was it Case or something like that? Ah, uh, could have been. And then, when, and then at some point, the big warehouse, the high warehouse was built. And obviously Ketter and Curver in here for many years. Um, right. There you go. Yeah. I came on a good day anyway. I certainly did, yeah. Well, I, yesterday, it was just mizzle blowing across everywhere. I was supposed to be down here yesterday, but really? I had to change a few things around so that I could come today instead. Yeah. Well, hopefully it'll look good. Yeah, it should do. Hopefully. Where are you up to next time? Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm possible. My, my drone batteries are both dead. Oh. So I'm going to have to go and charge them up somewhere. Are they battery hungry then? Uh, it, they, they do about 30 minutes each battery. Flight well, time. Well, not though, is it? When you think they're achieving. Um, it, it, it is, but it, it depends hugely on the wind. The, the windier always, it is. I mean, I, it, it gets down to about 12 or 13 minutes of battery in wind like this. Really? Yeah. Because we've had to put thicker double, double double doors on the front of the building because as soon as the wind picks up, it just blows right through the front. Just because the sea's there, it's just the way it comes. Yeah, out. yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, beautiful day. What a place. <laughs> what a place. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, I, I, I knew it was big, but I hadn't actually realised quite how big it was. No, you don't, do you? Because when you think, because when you come this way on the road, Pal's quite a big site next door, 
And so, and then an A frame, you kind of then get, and you kind of think, well, it's just another shed. It's only when you I've really just done think about pals, it. actually. Yeah. Pal, really pals isn't as big as this. No, 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 no. No, but yeah, but if you look at Google not. Maps as it is today, you can see it's a massive flood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Great employment as well. Well, that's all right. But it's true though, isn't it? Well, well yeah. It was, it's great for the area because we lo they lost 140 jobs there when Kessler shut down last year. Right. So in the Redwood area, we don't want to be losing 140 jobs. Well, no, like, no, definitely not. Like keeping not. it in Cornish ownership and bringing pe jobs back in, it's great for the area, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, is, is this the only R&R &R lock-up that you've got or have you got any more around? Uh, R&R warehouse there as well, the old one. Ah, uh, right, okay. So, uh, but it's all based in Cardrew, you well, haven't yeah, got any? Here. No, yeah. Right, I didn't didn't know if you had so, one somewhere else in Plymouth no, or whatever. No, no, no. I think I mean yeah, the history is you know, being part of the row group. Right. Years ago. And then I think their legacy is like kind of fruit and veg related, and I think they developed transport to support their uh, veg. Uh, you know, not fruit, not fruit, but you know what I mean, don't you? The agricultural business. Yes. Um, yeah. And then and you're going to get you're going to stretch my historical knowledge, but then I think they <laughs> sold out to Fife's. Right. And kept the transport. So they were no longer in veg or whatever, and they maybe used to import fruit actually. So they sold off the veggie part to Fife's, and but they kept the transport. Oh, when it became RR right. transport, okay. because they sold the veggie part off, and then uh, and that was it really. So it, and it's been going. You know, I, I couldn't tell you the history of the, the history of the veggie business, but RR transport's been going decades. Oh right, okay. So, so there's your history lesson. I'm going to go in the back gate. Lovely. Brilliant, thank you very much for your help. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> thank you. Well, there we go, guys. RR uh, storage and transport. 100% Cornish company through and through. And that is yet another reason why I enjoy doing these videos. Anyway, everyone. We've got a couple of reasonable videos today. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I shall see you on the next one, everybody. Cheerio.